everybody. We've made our way to the OCC booth today at PAX East 2015, and next to me I have Sarah from OCC. How's it going, Sarah? Good, pretty good. Awesome, awesome. So I know we're surrounded by gamers here, um, so there's a couple different questions I actually have to pose for you. But first and foremost, I know OCZ is, uh, has been purchased by Toshiba, correct? <laughs> yeah, so, that's correct. So um, out of curiosity, what is it like now working underneath Toshiba versus OCZ? Actually, awesome. it's been really good. Okay. Um, under the supervision of Toshiba, we've definitely come a long way. Um, our failure rates are down, our return okay. policy is way better, and everyone seems to be receiving our products a lot better now. Fantastic. Well, yeah. speaking of, of users receiving them, I mean, yeah. once again, we're, we're surrounded by gamers, right? Yeah. Um, what's the foot traffic like for you, and what are they thinking of OCZ's products now? Oh, everyone here seems to be really great. I've gotten okay. a lot of feedback from people who say they love our drives, cool. and they're like ready to upgrade, so I'm here to like talk to them about it. Okay. In fact, we actually have like a new one out that's going to be coming out. Oh, okay. Is it, is it the Vector 180 right yeah, here? Yeah, the Vector awesome. 180. So um, this is our drive that's going to be coming out soon. Um, the read write speeds are about 550 megabytes a second. Okay. Um, this is actually going to be our first drive that's going to be available in one terabyte. So storage. like 960 gigabytes yeah, probably? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, which is the first time we're doing that with a SATA drive. Okay. So, um, you have any other specs for me on performance? Uh, yeah. So um, it'll go up to 100,000 IOPS. Okay. Um, it's the Barefoot 3 controller that we developed in-house. Okay. And then it's also utilizing Toshiba's A19 uh, nanometer MLC flash, uh, as oh. well as uh, there's some features that come along with the Vector 180 that we're like pretty um, awesome about. Uh, the power failure management that okay. we're doing um, makes it so that if you ever have loss of uh, Power, power to the drive. To the drive. Uh -huh. um, it'll save that so that you won't have those dead on arrival problems that some SSDs seem to have. Yeah, um, fantastic. Which is, this is the first time we're offering it in our consumer drives. Because normally it's for enterprise level, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. And then it's also part of our Shield Plus warranty that we're trying to promote. Okay. Um, basically, it removes the hassle of a standard RMA procedure and makes it so that people can just have an easy time returning anything that they have with a problem. Awesome, Sarah. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to take a step back there. Did you say it was uh, MLC yes. flash? Okay, yeah. so I would have I would have bet money on TLC on that, but that's awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. A little, little bit better performance with the MLC. Yeah. So right on, Sarah. Thank well, thank you. you so much for taking the time yeah. to speak with us today, by the way. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you guys also for watching, and stay tuned for more of our PAX East 2015 coverage.